Alright, so this is going to be another Mac app review. This is another program from Yazasoft, and this one is called Unblunder. Just a quick description, basically what this application does is that it takes stuff that has been through your uh, recycle bin, and uh, you know in OS X, if you delete something and you empty the recycle bin, it's gone forever. If you send something to the recycle bin, it's very similar to Windows. If you send something to the recycle bin, you can still get it. Like, you can still drag it back to your desktop or wherever you'd like. But as soon as you empty your trash in Windows or just um, empty your garbage into your recycle bin in OS X, it's gone forever and there's no way to get it back. So this application takes that a step further. So now let's go ahead and get into this. So I'll go ahead and open up Unblunder. As you can see, here's the icon right now. And when you open it, you'll get to something that looks a little like this. So as you can see, my trash protection is on. And you know, when I'm when this program is just in the background, it takes up pretty much no CPU at all. Like it's a very good program. And so, as you can see, trash protection is on. And down here you see a list of partitions and physical hard drives I have on my machine. Now this is great because if I delete anything off these drives through the recycle bin and empty it these drives are enabled to have it you know put back on my machine so as you can see Windows 7 is not uh, I, I don't have it enabled simply because um, that's my other partition I have Windows 7 installed on and if I send something to the recycle bin in Windows then it just it won't work like I, if I recycled it through OS 10 then it'll work but I never do that I never touch this drive through OS 10 so it just kind of stays as it is so I figure why what's the point so once like, if you have more hard drives or if you have a MacBook, you can just set up the one, the main Macintosh HD, any partitions, and anything that's deleted from those partitions can be recovered. So now let's go to the actual recover tab. Now what you see here are actual files that I have that have been through my recycle bin, have been emptied, and that have been or have, that have been empty, as you can see here, deleted items. Now I could pick any one of these and restore it. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Here's an image that is, as you can see, no longer in my trash. My trash is empty. And we'll go ahead and to restore, you simply double click. Now, recover item 2. However, I wish this did have um, quick look right here so you could make sure that it's the right one. Uh, that would be cool to have some um, quick time or quick look integration. That'd be very nice, but moving on. Trash, uh, you could select where you want to. The default is trash, but you know, you could, I could change it to my desktop or a partition. So I'll just go right to the desktop, and then we'll choose, and we'll recover. As you can see, it popped up here and that's a graph <laughs> so you know if it's like an important document so let's go ahead and use this for you know like a real test so I'll go ahead and I'll open this this is a, a paper I've been working on for school um, it's very super important this is like going to determine if I pass or not and you know one day I'm on my computer and oh crap uh, I can just go to my trash can I'll come up here to empty trash I just don't know why I did that crap no worries. Pardon my uh, awesome acting. But as you can see here, there's a little refresh button. So we'll go ahead and we'll click that. And that important stuff is now here. So now I'll double click it. We'll recover it to the desktop where it was. And there it is. Now just to show that I really trust this program, I'm going to go ahead and delete something I actually use. So videos, my content, and I'll, I'll delete my intro. So we'll go ahead and we'll move it to the trash. It's gone. Right? I'd have to just remake my intro. No longer because I can come in here, intro.mov, recover, and I'll put it right back where I had it. So just to prove that it is no longer there. Not here, and you can watch it be restored. So we'll go to backup, videos, my content, and it'll be right here. Choose, recover. And there it is, right back just the way I had it. So I'm not exactly sure how long these um, remain here. I've yet to find that out. There's nothing really in preferences that tells you that, but I think it's just, you know, it's probably for a long time. But uh, generally, you can have it up in here, up um, in your menu bar. So just to have easier access, this little wand here, so you can just recover right from here without having to go away into your applications folder and start it and obviously to check for updates. So really there's no preferences. It's just a very simple program that works extremely well. I can just see all the times this is going to save me now. A lot of times what happens more often than not is that you know you move something to the garbage can and you delete it without even thinking about it. You know, it's 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 accidentally put there but then you kind of just like forget about it. 
and then you go to erase something else and you just empty it and next thing you know you're like where'd that file go where'd that file go and then you're failing your class so this is just definitely a lifesaver I highly recommend it you can go ahead and buy this right from yazsoft.com uh, it's it's pretty cheap it's like 10 15 bucks definitely worth it like I said it's already, I can already tell it's gonna save me a lot so that's pretty much it for this review it's just a very short and sweet application if you have any questions, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter. Also check out iTechCity.org and follow iTechCity on Twitter at iTechCity. Also check out uh, Yazsoft.com. They have some great software there. And, um, so just be sure you check them out if you're interested in this program or anything kind of like and it. That's pretty much it. So I'll see you in my next video.